Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast. To find out more about the show or to order Brant's new book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, go to BrantHanson.com. Jesus said we don't need to fear people, we should fear God and God alone. It's actually really freeing because think about that. How much of our lives is driven by the need for approval from mm. people? It's just neediness. I yeah. need like that's a trap. And some people stay needy their entire lives for for approval. Mm. A cool thing is as you do this, if you, as we grow up spiritually, we we need people less in that sense. We we don't need their approval so much, but we can love them more. Mm-hmm. And that's maturity, really. Right. Yeah. Less needy for their approval. But I'm rooting for them. They can even criticize me. Oh, okay. I don't need, like, I don't, I'm not in this because I need you to tell me I'm great. I can still root for you, I can still love you. That is a great place to be. It's a much better way of living. Well, this headline I really liked. It says, misplace your keys? Don't worry, forgetting is actually good for your brain. What? Yeah. And I was like, did, did you read the article? Tell, or that I was did, that, but this okay, time good, I was like, good. tell me more. Because uh-huh. I, I lose That stuff. doesn't sound right at all. I, but it is. <laughs> According to Dr. <laughs> Althea Kaminsky, mm-hmm. and Dr. Althea Kaminsky is a cognitive psychologist and mm-hmm. associate professor of clinical surgery. That sounds impressive. At Indiana University. Sure. She said, she's, she's an expert on memory. Uh huh. And she said, for example, I, Althea, Dr. Kaminsky, mm-hmm. spend an embarrassing, it's not me talking. Yes, yes, yes. Spend an embarrassing amount of time looking for my phone, water bottle, and keys. You may be unsurprised to learn that our memory systems are not necessarily designed to remember where we put our phones or keys or water bottles. Like there's there's things you can use memory for, other right. things. Like it's not, that it's not indicative of, or your, of your health, like mentally. But why is it a good thing? You said it's a good thing for your. That's what the headline said. Yeah. I, to be honest, I couldn't find that in the article, but let's just, you still accept it's fine. it. Fine. <laughs> Being at peace. If you want to be at peace, just know this: it takes practice. Whether you're fifty, you can be fifteen years old, or fifty, or seventy, or forty. I don't need to name every age, uh, but <laughs> what if you're twenty-seven, Brand? <laughs> Even twenty-seven. <laughs> It's not about pressing a button, though. You can't just go, I'm never going to worry. No, bam, press this button. No, it comes from practice. It comes from a different kind of life. The kind of life where you're, it's a praying life. You're constantly talking to God. You're practicing gratitude. You are practicing praying for your enemies. It comes from that stuff. It's a change of character, but it comes from actually doing that stuff. And you'll find that you become a different sort of person who is at peace. My friend Zach goes through seasons of getting really into stuff. And right now he's way into birding. Like Bur- going out, it? looking at birds, finding birds, classifying birds. He's just way wow. into it. It's very cool. Interesting. Yeah. And he said he had noticed the last few days that some birds that aren't normally here are here. Mm-hmm. And then they were gone. Okay. And that's kind of cool because they're on their way to somewhere else. They just passed through, but he noticed. Okay. And we kind of marveled at that. Like, wait. Pretty much anybody can see birds. I don't, I don't have great vision, so I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not going to be as good at it as him. But but we don't we don't notice that, and it just shows you things can be happening all around us. We're not, he's paying attention. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Things can be happening all around us, and if we're not paying attention to it, we're not going to notice it. Talk about sports. I, I don't get it. I'll be honest. I don't, there's, there's things about sports I don't get. It. What? There's some things. Okay. I, there's some things I love. Some things. There was this golf thing, the TPC event in Louisiana. Mm-hmm. So an alligator uh, is on the course. Right. On the 17th hole tee box. Okay. Yes. To me, that's like, well, now I'm interested. Because the alligator is on the Right. But the golf, golf people, they actually pause the game. Put it on pause to the alligators out of there. Like you don't understand why we don't want a live alligator on a golf course. I don't. I don't think golf is that interesting. It's me. Well, now it's interesting. <laughs> and now you stopped it. Now we have almost a miniature golf situation fact, happening here. Right. Yeah. In fact, if you started a golf league, yeah, that had wild animals, like it's on a nature preserve, like with lions and tigers and stuff. I'm watching that. You know what, Brand Hansen? I'm watching. I yeah, think you I would might too. watch that this too. This would be yeah. must see TV. <laughs> 
the way of Jesus is so genius. It is a better way of living. It's lighter. It's easier. I'm not kidding. Um, it just wait, we were just talking about like him saying, "Fear God alone. Mm -hmm. Don't you don't fear anybody else." And what that means is you don't have to get everybody's approval. You're less dependent on all that. Yeah. And you get less and less dependent. You don't have to manipulate anybody to get them to like you. So all that energy that goes into a facade or like trying to make sure everybody likes me and like save it. <laughs> like it's just again it, all everything he tells us is actually freeing and it makes life better. You know, oftentimes in life, we have to reflect and take a step back and we have sure. to... Oh, hang on a second. Okay. No uh, more. We're breaking animal news. Reflecting or taking oh, a step know. back. Uh, forget okay. the reflection right now. We have breaking animal news. And by the way, yes. most of the time when I have breaking animal news, I break in with one story. Yes, I'm like, do. why? Mm -hmm. I could have more. Well, the one usually is plenty. Uh, <laughs> um, for instance, yesterday, yeah. here's, here's okay. some breaking animal news. Sure. I would walk and do my normal walk around. Uh-huh. Not one, not two, not three, but four baby squirrels were in front of me, and they all ran along in front of me for a long time on the sidewalk. That's breaking news. In other news, oh. I also saw a video <laughs> yesterday of this rabbit yes. trying to punch a hawk. Because okay. the hawk was like really low, and the rabbit was like a mother hare trying to protect her Fighting for the life, her life yeah. and the life she of her children. She kept jumping up trying to punch the hawk. hawk was just staying just out of reach. Yeah. But she eventually scared that thing away. Mm. I just hadn't seen a rabbit fight a hawk like that. Sure. So it's that and the squirrel story that you broke in for. Yeah, this concludes okay. the newscast. <laughs> hey, just so you know, I've got stuff happening behind the scenes in my life. I, I can't control. I've got several things that have happened. Just like, are, are, how to say, things that would make you uneasy. And I've had to do the thing where I've had to say, okay, Brant, you're, you're getting anxious about something. And I got to do the thing, which is tell God what you need. It says, be anxious for nothing in the Bible. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Mm. And then the peace which exceeds our understanding will guard your heart in Christ Jesus. And I'm like, so I got to do the thing. I got to tell God what I need. Real frankly, so I've been doing that. And then I got to be really thankful. And I can feel the anxiety leaving my body when I'm thankful. I really can it's, it's the most practical thing in the world. It's not just religious talk. Again, you can do this. It actually works. So it's happening. Uh, the campaign is underway. If you haven't heard about this. I'm, oh, that's right. I'm going to run for the Senate mm -hmm. in the year 2038. So yeah, giving yourself some space to, yeah, to get build a together. movement. Sure. sure, platform. Figure out. Yeah, platform. Okay, so platform. Mm -hmm. I'm already in favor. I said more eclipses yes because people really enjoyed that yeah i want to have more eclipses as part of my platform people have responded positively yeah. to that sure i'm trying hard, hard to find more to put on your platform i was thinking <laughs> so i was in a hotel the other day they had that breakfast the little breakfast area yes we can make your own waffles. waffles and it's free a lot of times and yeah some. i think they should have scrambled eggs without cheese in there like sometimes they put cheese i'm like i need i need the protein i don't want cheese in there they, a lot, a lot of times they do have it without cheese. And that's cool. Yes. I think it should always be that way. So that's going to be added to more eclipses. I, I don't know. I'm going to get some focus groups. Yeah, see if there's you might want to workshop that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough <laughs> energy behind that. <laughs> Greetings, podcast friends. I just need to jump in here and say that this next segment, for the life of me, is probably showing my age. It's fine. I don't know if we played this segment before. It is in my non-played segments in that folder on my laptop. But when I listen to it, it sounds familiar like we like I did play it. But the date, I date all the segments. And so the date, this is way too much information, but here we are. The date is like the beginning of March. And so I went back through the podcast from the date of the segment and I couldn't find it where I had played it. But it sounds familiar, but it's a good segment. And if I did play it, it was probably like a month or two ago. So I'm going to play it again <laughs> if I didn't play it. So if I didn't play it, here it is for the first time. And if I did play it, enjoy it again. We probably can talk about this. 
um, I'm just a big advocate of asking questions. And I think a lot of that comes from, was it you that pointed it out or was, did I read it somewhere about how many questions Jesus asked? Oh yeah. Yeah. I would talk, talk about that. And, um, Having young people in my life that are now young adults and I always tell them, y'all middle age now, um, that have been so impacted by culture and now are kind of going through that cycle and they're on the other side of that cycle now. So they see that it's not working, mm-hmm, right. in the, whether in their own lives or in their friends' lives or what have you. And now they're asking questions again, and I'm making sure that yeah. we're all asking the right questions. Yes, yeah, right, right. Right. And any assumptions that you may have based on your baptism and culture, then I ask a question. Mm-hmm. And then you don't, it's not in a confrontational no. way. I think sometimes it feels confrontational uh, to them just because you've made, you're assertive about something that you really don't know. Right. And so I'm just gonna ask a couple of questions. And if you don't have the answers to those, then I would just say, let's go look at that. And yeah. I think sometimes as believers, especially in this, in, in, in deconstruction, I, 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 in fact, I said to someone, I said, well, you have to at least acknowledge that right now that's not special. Like you're not doing something that nobody right, else right, is right. doing. Oh my God. Right. Like everyone who is talking, it, that's, that's where we are now. Like people are saying those kinds of things. So you're not, you, let's not, let's not talk about this. Like you have <laughs> discovered the wheel or fire right, or something. Right, right. You're doing something that that's, that's, being done in in, in in some cases a little cliche even. yeah yes yeah. yes and so it's not it's it, let's at least say that right. and then let's say where are we getting our information and really i think i listened to two part it was it was a two part interview about ai and how will we determine what truth is boy no kidding you know what i mean yeah. like and i said we better start really thinking about this because there it, it's coming to you're not You'll be talking to someone on the phone and you don't know if it's actually them or not. You know what I mean? Um, so let's start asking these these questions legitimately and, and getting answers to them. And I think that that's a nice way to – that's how I've approached it. Because I think as a, what I was starting to say is as believers sometimes – we always feel on the hot seat. Like they have all the questions and right. we feel like I have to have all the answers. I'm okay telling you the answers that I have, uh, the answers that I've lived, uh, but you know, I don't know everything. That's interesting. Are we are we, are we recording this? We are. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. That's interesting because just wondering culturally, are they asking us any questions? What a great, um, yes, but they're not, they're those, they're those questions that who is my neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. that's technically yeah. a question. Yeah, but what you're really saying is like, you know, I, don't I have to right, think right about this. But or I'm, I don't do, even or I'm doing, I'm doing everything that I should be doing. No, I, I get. I feel like I feel like the culture at large is so proud of itself, mm-hmm. and and it presumes it's morally and intellectually superior, mm-hmm. very much morally superior to Christians. Mm-hmm. Uh, that what's they're not really asking us questions, more telling us. What's up? And I would say that specifically maybe about the culture at large. I'm talking about, you know, kids and people that I'm interacting with gotcha. that have gotten to the end of, yeah. of that. And now, but the questions still are, but what is, is the Bible really this or is it that? And I understand those questions and we can answer some of those and go down that path. But what I'm going to say is whatever brought us here, let's question the culture course, too. Right, right. Right. And that's something that, that you started so wonderfully that I think, we can never do too much of, which uh-uh. is say, okay, great. We asked that about Jesus. Great. We asked that about scripture. Great. Uh-huh. We asked about, sure. We had some answers. Some we're still wrestling with. Fantastic. Now let me ask you yeah. some questions. And really I am asking questions, not because I don't know the answer to something, but I want to know if you know, yeah. what is this? What is that? Yeah, you can just Why? look at the headline. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, what do you make of the fact that people your age mm-hmm. are, or, or early 20s, I should say, yeah. if you're talking to somebody. Yeah, yeah. Like, of females your age, over half have a diagnosed mental disorder. Mm-hmm. What do you make of that? Because right. that's, that's, that's a first in human history, yeah. as far as I know, for a whole society. Right. Why so much anxiety? Yeah, why, why am more? I so fear? Yeah. What? 
why why don't people know who they are yeah what what's behind that do you think mm -hmm. what happened mm -hmm. it's not normal yeah just just stuff like that can be good fodder for it absolutely for is learning together and thinking through stuff i think that that's good and i think if you can listen to that and not be confrontational with it or <laughs> attempting to debate in some way but really trying to bring people to um i don't want to say to the end of themselves but at least acknowledging what has been fed to you yeah. and why because the people always um i shouldn't say people always but people have implied that i'm a believer because that's what you know what yeah. i mean was given to me when i was right, younger right, right, and, right. and all of that um and i get that but i've also lived a life and, yeah. and there you go so now i'm trying to help young people yeah i understand with that yeah that makes total sense the brand and sherry oddcast to find out more about the show or to order Brant's brand new book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, go to BrantHanson.com.